was cold outside. Is it recording? Yes. Awesome. Um, so, you know, we're here with a uh, fractured and art. Alert. Alert. Tick Valley? Hey! Okay, so I bought the, um, what is it? Oh, hang on. Hang on one second. Hang on, this is going to get a little weird. Alright, here we go. That wasn't full view. So I, I did the pre-purchase only for the $80. I couldn't do the $40. Didn't have the money. That's fine. I got that thing. There's one of the legendaries I want to gold. Can I get the other one? That is the hero for Warlock. What is that card? What the fuck? Okay. Well. Tavern pass. I'll probably buy that one this time around. I actually like the skins and stuff that comes with it. So here we go. This is literally the pack opening. I got one of the legendaries that I like. I'm seeing all these neutrals for the first time. Okay. That's all right. That's too much for a six mana cost card. That's actually not that bad. how unreleased demon hunter was really good and now they have just murdered and fucking killed the deck this is all right i guess not that good see the problem with this card with this set right is the cards in this set are actually good they're actually good cards the problem is is that our format is too fast for these kind of cards if it wasn't so fast a lot of these cards would actually be more usable and stuff but that's just terrible yeah but no blizzard did a lot of things wrong they've made a format where they're like oh let's introduce a set with slow cards this will slow down the fast format it's not how that works that's one of the best cards in the set. Windchill is fucking incredible. One, they basically just released a set hoping to slow down the meta. It's not going to do that. Secondly, they released this right before fucking Christmas time. That's a great time to release a set. You know, before Christmas. No, no, no. You need to do it after Christmas. As much as we need a new format, this doesn't bring anything. Format's still theoretically the same just a lot of decks getting better these these really these are like really cool these like little like battlefield things they're like actually like not that bad ah the hero i don't uh well okay yeah no no my bad i didn't i forgot that's what he did no, no, he's a really good hero. He's one of the best. This one is actually good. This whole death rattle thing with Rogue seems interesting. Just the only problem is there's not a whole lot of good death rattle cards. No! I mean, I'll take it, but I really want the warlock one. I want the warlock stuff. I want Warlock and Shaman. I'll make. I'll mess around with that Hunter one. Definitely. I'm gonna mess around with Secret Hunter. A hundred percent. It's such a bad deck, and it's not gonna go anywhere or do anything. But I want the Warlock one. Epic. Oh, the worst uh, one. One of the worst Paladin cards.
That's just a bad. They just reprint. A, they just print in bad cards. This one's actually not half bad. I think I can see cards like like this and like that being good in arena. I got taunt minion. That was like a six drop. That could be look good in arena. This might be a good card. I think it's a good like one of. This is a pretty good one. The problem with that min, the problem with it is just it's a minion, and the mage decks just don't run minions. Man. That one's uh, the problem with that one is it's just too late game for that to matter. Rogue has this weird thing. It has a bunch. It has combo stuff. It it has like Man. um what is it that that whole thing with cards from another class and then it wants to go with death rattle. It's like it's not making up its mind. The druid stuff of beast. That's a whole new archetype. That's gonna be really good. Druid is gonna be a top deck in the meta, guaranteed. Demon Hunter is not. Demon Hunter came out strong and has just been falling downward. I might try big Demon Hunter though. That might seem like a fun deck. Man, we are not pulling a whole lot of epics. Holy shit. I'm pulling a whole lot of nothing. Oh yeah, there's wind chill and that other beast for druid. That druid beast stack, I'm Man. probably gonna try to build. I don't know, there's a lot of decks for this set I really wanna build. I'm not gonna be able to build them all. Those gold packs are gonna be my have to be my savior. I gotta pull some good stuff from these packs. I gotta pull rares and epics from there. I don't care if they're duplicates or not. Yeah, maybe pull more golds, please. This is really good. That's a really good card. That is just so insane. Druid is actually one of the sets that came out of this. Um, that like came out of this Man. set looking better than it did. Yeah, there it is. Stealth, summon another wolf. It literally replaces itself so you have like a beast on board. Death Rattle. If this wasn't honorably killed, we summon him. Wow. That can be decent, I guess. I don't know. If I do get the Tavern Pass, I'm just gonna disenchant him. So. I probably will get the Tavern Pass as well. So he's literally just disenchant fodder right now. Man, man, man. Uh, this could be good in like a token Demon Hunter deck. It just the token Demon Hunter deck just, just doesn't do a whole lot though. That's the problem. It's like payoff. Um This is pretty cool. I wanna mess with that frozen shaman deck. That frozen shaman deck seems like fun. Ice trap. That, that's actually a really good secret. It's the frozen trap, but for spells. That can actually be like really good because I can hit like 10 cost spells and stuff. And that just messes up mana curves. Man. This is actually not that bad as well. It's gonna be kind of good, but it's just too random. I think that uh, that that battlefield one for shaman is pretty cool. Man. Um, I 
That's just terrible. They have this, like, taunt deck for a warrior, but it's just like, why? It, the problem with warrior is, why would you play this slow-ass taunt deck that doesn't do anything, when you could just play pirate warrior that does a whole lot? And nets you just more advantage and stuff than the other ones would. Nice, two of that. That's, that's helpful. I'm so sad that I couldn't pre-purchase them both. Just did not have enough. Wind chill, best card in the set. Really good card for Shaman. I am looking for them hero legendaries, bro. Like the only good legendaries from the set. Um, that's and it could be helpful, kind of. Ah, it's gonna be the worst one. The one for warrior is. I guess it's okay. It could be used as like a finisher or something. What's the unstoppable force? Could they have a big mini? You just slam it into them to deal a lot of damage? Or you just attack? I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to find uses for a lot of these cards. It, it just ain't happening. That battlefield one. For Drew, it is actually pretty good. It's so bad. Because <laughs> Demon Hunter plays a lot of demons, so you can't get much value that far. You have to wait a turn. That can be alright, I guess. Because you could choose like a big taunt minion. And it just makes it even better. <gasps> that could be alright for like a zoo type deck. I'm very happy to get that warlock card. I want the warlock cards. I love, I love the warlock. That's alright. That's actually not that bad for a paladin card. You could draw like your leaf rooms or something like that. This is all right as well for like the secret deck. I mean, like if 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 we can make secret work, that's actually pretty cool. Problem is, you gotta fill up your deck with fucking secrets. It's interesting to see like what a lot of these um, some of the modes are change into. I hope it does change. I hope it does change into something that's more fun and enjoyable. Cause I'ma be real. That could be all right, but it just cost it cost too much. It needs to be like a four drop. I think if it was a four drop, it could be a hell of a lot better. But it's just a five drop. Like no, that's just that's just too high. Last turn, they're just not a consistent way to heal yourself. That was like a priest, and yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the other one. 
So I chose the Alliance one. So I went with the Alliance, but I got the one that's for the um, Horde. Okay, that's cool. I like that. So you can get one in gold, and then you can still pull the other one in crap. Oh, man. Okay. I like that. I like that the choice doesn't actually matter, and it's not like, oh, well, if you don't choose one, you don't... You have to choose one, and you don't get the other. It's so you can get one. Okay, second one that. Come on, more legendaries, man. I think I have enough gold to buy like one more pack. Man. Okay, second one that. Oh, man. Frostbite seems like a cool spot. See, this is gonna be fun to mess with. It's not. It's not worth it. But this is gonna be fun. As like a new Cthulhu's box. <laughs> Cthulhu's box is so much fun. We have like a new one that's similar to it. I guess this can kind of be good. It's just not good in the first turn, but like, it's kind of good. I guess there's circumstances where it is good and others where it's not. Ugh. He's such a bad one. All right, let me go buy this last one. The shop is so glitchy for me. Oh, I could get the Deathwing set. 100% gonna have to get this. You can buy this with gold? Nope. Alright. Well, I'm gonna have to buy that, I guess. I really want that Deathwing set. It's so good. I never did get the pre purchase of uh, the Seven Dragons. I was going to do that. Alright, now into the gold packs. These ones matter so much. This is gonna help so much with us. But I'm not gonna get anything. I wish it would give you 10, so you're at least caring to get all those things. Last pack, just give me like a legendary play. <sighs> Damn. Okay, well, let's go see how much dust I can gather. So, my current dust is it's like 500 something, because I don't have a whole lot of dust. I get a thousand three hundred. Okay. Yeah, just channel a lot of these gold cards. We're going to try to make you work. Oh, this is a pre- 
Grease card? Oh, 100% disenchanting that. I can't disenchant this. That's dumb. At least I have this card. This one's gonna be so much fun to mess with. about all the cards I can get. So, I'm left with 4,000 dust. How many achievements did I get on that? I am missing that many cards. There we go. I almost actually have all the cards unlocked. Okay, I'm missing like eight legendaries and like a bunch of epics. And a free reward. This is actually a really decent card. I actually really like that card. They did kind of actually fix up the reward track this time. Do you get one for your alliance? Oh no, you get both. Oh, nice. Ooh, that's a really nice card back. So you get that guy gold in there. Get a bunch of cool ones. You get a battleground hero, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is a really cool skin I really want, so I'm definitely getting the tavern pass. Not only for that skin, but for like shaman skin. I thought it was Teemo. Oh, is that what it looks like? I thought maybe it was like the f coin would be full for which side you picked. It's just going to look like that. Okay. Right into 100. And is it still the same? Yep. Alright. I already have the Warlock one. I missed out on like two. I'm definitely going to try to get the Tavern Pass. 100%. What a good reward you get from this. And then, you get this guy as a diamond, so I'm going to literally disenchant my legendary one of him. What else did I get? Oh. Alright, well, there we go. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, this, I'm, I'm decently satisfied with my packs. I do gotta craft some cards that I need, but other than that, I did pretty alright. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.